Tonight, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass is proposing new changes to make metro train stations safer following a KCAL News investigation. And David Goldstein has details. We exposed potentially deadly traces of drugs found in some emergency stairways at metro train stations left there by the homeless who camp out in the areas. Now, we found the results in a study that was commissioned by Metro secretly leaked to us. Not many people knew about it, not even the mayor. Had you seen this report or aware of this report? No, I had not been aware of the problem prior to your reporting. Environmental investigators tested areas behind these emergency doors at the Hollywood and Highland Station and Wilshire and Western. These photos show what was left after the homeless were moved out. The hazard assessment report found, quote, the spaces are heavily contaminated with fentanyl and methamphetamine from illicit drug use. Fentanyl is a highly potent synthetic opioid. This presents a hazard not only to the personnel tasked with cleaning the spaces, but also anybody entering. So toxic, we obtained this directive posted to Metro employees, listing certain areas of six stations reported as biohazards, areas not to be entered. The new Metro board chair and our mayor, Karen Bass. Mayor Bass, who just took the lead on the Metro board, but has been seated there for seven months, says to her knowledge, the board was never made aware of the report. Touching fentanyl could kill you. Now, after seeing our investigation, she's proposing safeguards. I plan to bring forth an emotion. Number one, to say that these areas need to be inspected daily and they need to be cleaned regularly based on the inspections. There's no excuse for that not to happen. In response to our investigation, Metro claims the stations are safe, saying in part, if we thought there was a credible or reasonable risk to our riders, we would notify them immediately. They claim to be cleaning stations and saying all will be done by the end of August. Are they moving fast enough to clean? I don't think they're moving fast enough. But sources say the cleaning didn't start until we exposed the problem. From what I've been told, they didn't act on this and they didn't act on cleaning anything. That is possible. Un until the last few weeks. That is, is that, possible. Is that the right way to do it? Absolutely not. I mean, frankly, they shouldn't have needed your report. How about that? Can I just talk to you? Can I get two minutes with you? Metro CEO Stephanie Wiggins refused our request for an interview. Metro defended the fact that they haven't told riders about the drugs in the emergency stairways, saying these areas have never in the history of Metro been used. Saying that in the history of Metro, these stairways have never been used. That's not acceptable. That's not a rationale. That's like saying let's get rid of the fire escapes because right. the building never burned down. Fire. Exactly. Long term, the mayor is looking into whether emergency doors can be better secured so the homeless can't get in and also looking to beef up security. David Goldstein, KCAL News.